Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This video will actually be a quite a few different firsts for me. Uh, not only my first ever YouTube video, but my first time ever traveling alone, as well as my first ever yoga retreat. So come along with me. I document my entire journey to Costa Rica and of my yoga retreat experiences. It was just such an incredible experience. And I really hope that me showing you this provides a source of inspiration for you to do the things that you've been putting off, the things that you've always wanted to do. Just step outside of your comfort zone Get yourself to do them because the most beautiful things happen on the other side. All right, let's get into it. Back in November, I went on a seven day solo trip to Costa Rica to attend a yoga retreat and I decided to document my journey along the way. I landed in Costa Rica late in the evening and stayed at a nearby hotel where all of the other attendees stayed as well. In the morning, we met together for breakfast and started getting to know one another. We then boarded our shuttle and started on our three and a half hour trip to the resort, Selva Armonia. We stopped at a few places along the way, including this roadside market where I ended up having my first fresh coconut, which was delightful. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> to the left, you'll see a banana plantation. <laughs> and then to the right, you'll see a banana plantation. I'll do a play-by-play. Play. <laughs> In Espanol, por favor. Oh, no. <laughs> And finally, it was time to ascend the mountain that the resort sits atop. It's a bumpy ride up, but it doesn't take long to notice the worthwhile views. Once we got to the top of the mountain, we were then taken by 4x4 vehicles to get to the resort. Everything is made here from our garden. Nice. After arriving at the resort and being greeted by our instructor, Ali, as well as all of the Salva staff, it was time to explore. Everything here is just so lush and so vibrant. You are truly fully immersed in the jungle here. At the pool area were these beautiful cabanas, a bar, a DJ booth, and a breathtaking ocean view. On the lower deck was a cool netted hammock to lounge in, as well as a hot tub and more stunning views. Mm -hmm. 
up these stairs is the dining area where we would meet every day for our meals. And down here is my room. My room was actually the least extravagant option available, but it still provided the most perfect stay for me. Now, as we head down these stairs, we are led to the yoga deck, which did not disappoint and offered the most incredible view for our classes. Included with our stay was three gourmet plant-based meals each day, which were all so yummy. A group of us had signed up for a zip lining excursion where it ended up raining, but honestly, it felt like part of the jungle Woo! experience. Woo! <laughs> Everyone else seemed to be able to stick their landing much more gracefully than I. And these are some really incredible shots of what it's like to zip line through a jungle. And here I am, repelling upside down. Spider Woman! This ended up being the highlight of this entire excursion for me. On our way to the beach, we stumbled on a sloth. Here is a full day of meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. This was a yoga intensive retreat. So we had a yoga class two to three times each day.
we all had gotten a massage. Had a dance party. We chilled and we mingled. We saw some more wildlife. Did some more yoga. We got to experience a sound bath. Drink more coconuts. We had an Ayurvedic workshop. And I got the opportunity to really dive into the concept of presence and dilating time. This would be our final yoga class, the morning of the day that we depart. We took a group photo and many of us got emotional thinking of everything that we had just experienced the last week and the connections that we had made with one another. This was genuinely the most blissful experience with the most wonderful people in the most magical place. We learned, we laughed, and we grew together. All right, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a fun, not only experience going to Costa Rica, but a fun experience putting this video together. I've always been a creative human, so this is a nice little outlet for me. So stay tuned. There will definitely be more videos to come, and I hope you have the most beautiful day. Bye!